how they came to decide on the V1 LTM solution as, uh, as their option for, for managing their, uh, their training, some of the benefits that they've been able to uh, achieve uh, through that decision, and some of the plans they have for the future and some development that they're working on uh, at the moment. Okay, before I do that, um, I'd like to invite you all to ask any questions that you have. Uh, we've got a bit of time at the end of the presentation. We can take some questions then. But if you've got any burning questions during this uh, uh, next 20 minutes that you need to ask, then please uh, stick your hands up and uh, we'll try and answer them for you. But before we move on, I've got a, a couple of questions I'd like to ask you. So a bit of audience participation, if you don't mind. Um, it's got a quick show of hands on what you're currently using for learning and training management in your organizations at the moment. Are you using a mixture of different systems? Are you using Excel spreadsheets? Are you using legacy systems, hands in the air? OK. Uh, spreadsheets, thank you. It's a common story. Anyone using uh, a kind of formal learning training system, an LMS of some sort? Yeah. OK, great, thanks. In terms of um, improvement then, um, what would you say is most important to you? What do you, you know, you're here in this event, you're looking for some improvements in the way you're doing things. Are you looking for uh, to drive greater efficiency into your learning and training function? Yeah, you can put your hands in the air, thank you. Come on, join in. Are you uh, perhaps, uh, is your organization growing? Is your learning and training situation growing? So the ladies here at the front are rocking it. Uh, and are you looking for more flexibility in, in the way that you're delivering your services? OK, great, thank you. Is it all of the above? <laughs> OK, thanks. They all hate me now. OK, let's rattle through my intro then, and we can get into the, uh, the interesting bit about asset and hand over to Fiona. V1 is part of uh, a larger organization called Advanced Business Solutions. Um, and the group turns over, well, last year turned over uh, in excess of 200 million pounds. The, uh, the V1 organization is, uh, provides a range of business automation software um, in various sectors. And I'll come on to that in some more detail in a while. Uh, but we have offices in uh, the uh, the UK and also in uh, Georgia in the US. And we have many hundreds of uh, customers in, of all sizes and all flavors and all sectors and industries around the world. Okay, so we are a very well established organization in our own right. Um, but we have the support of a much larger uh, group. In terms of the software that we provide, um, I'm going to come on and talk to you about the learning and training management system, but we, it forms a, a suite of products that we provide um, that it's used in public sector, private, and also in the third sector. So alongside learning and training, we also provide document management solutions. So this is largely used by finance management teams and also uh, professional service automation. So used by companies who, are, um, who need to time manage large, high value um, professional services projects. The learning and training management system that we're kind of here to promote is a specialist piece of software. It's designed to be used by any organization that has a reasonable number of learners and a reasonably complex process of delivering that learning. Um, but regardless of whether that learning is classroom-based, whether it's e-learning or whether it's a blend of that uh, or it's compliance-based, uh, and also, regardless of who those learning consumers are, they might be members of the public, they might be uh, your customers, they might be your staff and your employees or your uh, associates. Uh, <clears throat> they may also be uh, people who need to track their CPD. We can provide a solution that's going to uh, fit around that model. Okay. So that's enough for me for now. I'm going to hand over to... Uh, Fiona, who's going to introduce you to Asset uh, and take you through that story. Hi there, I'm Fiona Bismeyer and I'm the Operations Manager for Asset International Oil and Gas Training Academy. We're a wholly owned subsidiary company of Northeast Scotland College and the sole purpose of our company is to generate revenue for the college. What I'd like to do is just show you a quick introduction film 
showing you exactly what our company do and the challenges we face in terms of training, allocation schedules, allocation resources. Any working day, we will train over 300 delegates from over 80 countries per day. We work across three training centres in Aberdeen and we're internationally recognised as centre of excellence for competence-based training. In 2010, the asset management team were challenged with increasing the revenue to the college. Um, what we looked at was how were we going to actually achieve this goal? We were very clear about our business streams worked in isolation. So for us, the four main areas were finance, marketing, administration, and scheduling. Each system worked independently and not across the business. Our res the result of this way of working was that a lot of our processes were manual, they were disjointed, we had inconsistent communication, somebody might forget to make a phone call to raise an invoice to a customer. It was very difficult as a management team to actually analyze data and look at where our business was going to go. What we then did, what, go back on. what we looked at was we were very clear that we needed one system that would work across the whole business. The options that we looked at were to use an existing college system. We didn't believe that that would be flexible enough for ourselves. Second option was to develop a bespoke system. That would work for a short term 
but wouldn't give us the flexibility or longevity that we were looking for. The third option was to purchase a learning development solution. We looked at a number of, a number of packages that were available. For us, the V1 LTM solution provided a highly flexible solution that would work across equally across all four main areas of the business. Again, we're very clear that each manager had to buy in to the product. So it had to meet everybody's requirements. And most importantly for us was that the supplier wanted to build a long-term relationship. Working closely with the V1 team for the last four years, we've actually managed to achieve a simplified course booking system. So at any one point, anybody can book a delegate onto a training course. So the customer makes one phone call and that booking is processed at that point. We can create rapid course creation. So we can actually create and put a course on the website ready to sell. Our target at the moment is seven minutes to be able to sell it, which again, gives us a huge edge over our competitors. We can put additional dates as soon as we start to see that courses are selling out. By having one customer database gives us a big market advantage and we can target the right customers to actually sell our products. We've managed to improve our management information and reporting streams. So again, we've been able to grow the business. As our business has increased, what we found is that we needed to use the system in different ways. And one of the ways that we looked at was the number of delegates that were arriving went from 80 to over 200. And 200 people arriving at your reception desk on a Monday morning to start a course is not good. It's not a good experience for you and it's not a good experience for the delegate. So we worked with the V1 team to actually create a portal, which now means that delegates can check themselves in. So they arrive exactly as you would at an airport. You type in your name, your date of birth, and it comes up confirming which course you're on, where the course is going to take place, who your lecturer is, a bit of housekeeping about our health and safety, where you can get coffee, what map of the area. With everything you can see, there's, there actually has to be a benefit. So one of the things that we've benefited from is 150% growth in the number of people that have actually attended our courses. So we've gone from 80 delegates per day to well over 200. We've actually increased the number of courses. So we've run from 12 short courses to 20 short courses on any given day. We've reduced the amount of support staff. And again, this wasn't through redundancies. This was very much about us automating the processes and natural wastage. We've actually reduced the number of managers that need to manage our business from five to four. Some of the other outcomes that we've actually witnessed from the experience is we now have a single solution which helps us manage our business. We've achieved a 360 degree view of our business at any given time. We've automated more than 80% of our tasks and we have an improved profile of customers which is reflected in the number of customers that actually now come to our center. What we're looking at now with the V1 team is from the feedback we see from customers, customers actually wanted to make their own book, make and manage their own bookings at a time that was convenient to them. So we worked with the V1 team to create an online portal for the customers. This is, at the moment, this is in test with 15 of our top customers and the feedback has been really positive. It means that they can access the system at the time for, that's good for them. If they need to change delegates, they can do that themselves. They don't need to send an email or make a phone call. They can actually access delegate records, which again, if they want to need to check to see whether somebody has to come back and refresh a course, they can check to see which date they need to come back and do it. If they've got a query on their invoices, they can download and print off a copy invoice. They can actually view using the portal to make sure that their delegates have arrived safely at our center. And again, if they're flying in from different countries, that's one of their key requirements is to make sure that their delegates have arrived safely. The other thing that we're looking at is because the number of delegates are actually increasing, self-checking works really well, but we're trying to take it to the next level. And the next level for us is to actually just allow people to access the information using a PIN code. So instead of having to type your name and your date of birth in, all you need to do is type in a four digit code and that will give you that information. What I'd like to do is hand you back to Mark. Um, maybe I can just uh, help that by uh, just summarizing some of those key points then um, in conclusion. Um, I think one of the, the, the big messages that I 
when I first came across Asset and heard the story um, was uh, the the return on investment that they've been able to achieve in implementing this solution. It's, you know, the, the, the figures are undeniable uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, is a real asset to, uh, uh, to that project. I think it also provides a lot of flexibility and innovation for, for asset. They've grown into this product. They've, they've, it's a, quite a uh, significant change for them. And the system has grown with them over time and um, has enabled them to improve their customer services as well as improve the way they're operating in general. It's also providing uh, what we feel is a long-term relationship and a long-term platform on which they can continue to grow and uh, expand their business and uh, meet the strategies that they've, they've got in place for, uh, for that growth. Okay. Just leaves me now to say a very big thank you to you all for attending. And uh, if you um, have any questions, please come over. We can do a product demo for you if you wish. But uh, otherwise, enjoy the rest of your conference. Thank you.